In this video, I'm going to cover the process of post-processing some statically observed GNSS data using the Trimble RTX post-processing service. So this service is ideal for areas where there isn't a dense network of local or national continually operating reference stations from which to download data to process against. I'm going to begin by making a project. I'm going to use my preferred template. It's also one that I have backed up to my connect account which is a handy feature if you can use this so that all your settings are backed up online for your preferred survey processing settings. Project's open. I'm going to drag in the file that I need. It's my raw data T04 file. Could also be a T02. Okay, so point name, start and end time on the check-in dialog, five hours of data. Antenna in this instance is a Zephyr Model 2 and the measured height position is here. So I'm going to hit OK. Then on the survey ribbon, there's a button here, send to RTXPP. The version of TBC I'm running here is version 5.9, but this will be available in some of the older revisions as well. I'm going to tick the file that I've imported. For selection of the coordinate system and the tectonic plate parameters, I'm going to let the post-processing engine, the online post-processing engine, determine what's best based on the location of the data and my coordinate system settings, which is set to UK Ordnance Survey National Grid OSTM 15. So just pop send on there. Data will get transferred to the online baseline processor and a file will be returned, which can be imported then into TBC with a post-processed coordinate value. Might notice that another tab's appeared here. Lurking behind the plan view in TBC, it's the process view. So I can keep an eye on what's happening there with the processing. So this won't take very long, but I'll just pause the video while we wait for this to go through. Okay, it didn't take very long at all. Give me about 30 seconds to a minute. There's some precision estimates here. And we can import the processed value from an XML file by clicking import. So here's the check-in. It's possible to merge the, the point name with the original name in the project or to rename the imported point coordinate. In this case, I'm going to merge it. You can see here then in Project Explorer, under imported files, got the original raw data file and now the XML file containing the post-process coordinate. There's still only one point in the project because I asked it to merge the imported values from the XML with the existing point values. So I can see there's actually two coordinates registered against the point 12, 10, 23. The T04 will be an autonomous, uh, not very precise position. And here we've got the post-processed coordinate here. So this one I will now set to disabled. Go back to the plan view and looking back to the XML file here, see a little bit of information about the coordinate transformation that's been applied. 
to place it into the coordinate system that's being used in this project. So it's a reference to ETRF 1997 and on the Eurasian plate. So it's the correct information that tallies with, in my case, UK National Grid OSTN 15. Now the RTX Post Processing Service quotes precision in the horizontal given sufficient data, so data of an hour or more in 30 seconds or less epochs of approximately 2 centimetres in the horizontal and 6 in the vertical. So in the UK there's a dense network of core stations from which data is available to process against. So I'm going to drag and drop in the CSV file containing the post-process value from the local core stations. And again, I'm just going to merge it. So to compare the value from the RTX post-processing service with the locally processed data, I'm going to open a point derivation report. And that will give us the differences between the two. So you can see it's used the coordinate from the CSV as a reference and compared the XML coordinate to it. So it's from the RTX post processing. There's 8 mil difference in easting, 4 mil in northing and 28 mil difference in elevation. So about what would be expected given the precision estimates of the RTX post-processing service. So as mentioned at the start, it's an ideal option if you need to post-process some static observations, don't have access to local core stations or for speed of processing and the, the level of precision required doesn't necessitate use of local core stations. Just mention that there is a website for the Trimble RTX post processing service. I'll just show that here. Data can be processed in much the same way has been just done through TBC difference being that first you have to register for the service and then hit the post processing button. From there it's a case of either selecting the coordinate system manually or putting it onto the auto detect and the same for the tectonic plate and then uploading the file, put in your email address and once the processing is complete, the XML file containing the process coordinates will arrive by email. And then, of course, that XML file can be imported to TBC or another application that's able to read the coordinate from that file. And there we have a concise look at how to process data, static GNSS data, through the Trimble RTX Post Processing Service, free service, in this case using Trimble Business Center version 5.9, but as mentioned, this work will work in many of the older versions of TBC2.